Welcome back. We're on Leviticus chapter 26, the second to last chapter of Leviticus. Do not make idols or set up carved images or sacred pillars or sculptured stones in your land so you may worship them. Which I think he kind of already went at, over that, and I think we would have established that anyway from uh, when he had Moses uh, command these people to go around smashing other people's idols and carved images and sacred pillars. Yeah, he uh, he's a jealous god. He doesn't want people worshiping other gods. He wants to take all the credit for himself. I am the Lord, your God. You must keep my Sabbath days of rest and show reverence for my sanctuary. You've already gone over that. I am the Lord. You've already gone over that. <laughs> so many times. If you follow my decrees and are careful to obey my commands, I will send you the seasonal rains. The land will then yield its crops and the trees of the field will produce their fruit. Your threshing seasons will overlap with the grape harvest, and your grape harvest will overlap with the season of planting grain. You will eat your fill of life securely in your own land. I will give you peace in the land, and you will be able to sleep with no cause for fear. I will rid the land of wild animals and keep your enemies out of your land. In fact, you will chase down your enemies and slaughter them with your swords. Five of you will chase a hundred, and a hundred of you will chase ten thousand. All your enemies will fall beneath your sword. Barbaric. I will look favorably upon you, making you fertile and multiplying your people. And I will fulfill my covenant with you. You will have such a surplus of crops that you will need to clear out the old grain to make room for the new harvest. I will live among you, and I will not despise you. I will walk among you. I will be your God, and you will be my people. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt so you would no longer be their slaves. That's right, you are now Yahweh's slaves. I broke, that, I broke the yoke of slavery from your neck so you can walk with your heads held high. However, however, if you do not listen to me or obey all these commands, if, and if you break my covenant by rejecting my decrees, treating my regulations with contempt, and refusing to obey my commands, I will punish you. And that... That is fucking revealing. Yeah, oh yeah, I freed you from the land of Egypt. Oh, I freed you, I freed you, I freed you. Obey my commands, motherfuckers. I will bring sudden terrors upon you, wasting diseases and burning fevers that will cause your eyes to fail and your life to ebb away. Jesus, they were better off with the fucking Pharaoh. You will plant your crops in vain because your enemies will eat them. I will turn against you and you will be defeated by your enemies. Those who hate you will rule over you, and you will run even when no one is chasing you. And if in spite of all this you still disobey me, I will punish you seven times over for your sins. I will break your proud spirit by making the skies as unyielding as iron and the earth as hard as bronze. All your work will be for nothing, for your land will yield no crops, and your trees will bear no fruit. If even then you remain hostile toward me and refuse to obey me, which would actually be understandable considering all the shit you'd be doing to them, I will inflict disaster on you seven times over for your sins. I will send wild animals that will rob you of your children and destroy your livestock. Your numbers will dwindle and your roads will be deserted. And if you fail to learn the lesson and continue your hostility toward me, then I myself will be hostile toward you. I will personally strike you with calamity seven times over for your sins. I will send armies against you to carry out the curse of the covenant you have broken. When you run to your towns for safety, I will send a plague to destroy you there, and you will be handed over to your enemies. I will destroy your food supply so that ten women will need only one oven to bake bread for their families. They will ration your food by weight, and though you have food to eat, you will not be satisfied. If in spite of all this you still refuse to listen and still remain hostile toward me, then I will give full vent to my hostility. I myself will punish you seven times over for your sins. Then you will eat the flesh of your own sons and daughters. You're gonna eat your babies! I will destroy your pagan shrines and knock down your places of worship. I will leave your lifeless corpses piled on top of your lifeless idols, and I will despise you. That's right. I will despise you. This is coming from your all-loving God. Alright? No one is allowed to ever say that again. 
you call this guy an all-loving god bullshit you're a liar or a charlatan one of those <laughs> if not both anyway I will make your cities desolate and destroy your places of pagan worship. I will take no pleasure in your offerings that should be a, a pleasing aroma to me. Yes, I myself will devastate your land, and your enemies who come to occupy it will be appalled at what they see. I will scatter you among the nations and bring out my sword against you. Your land will become desolate, and your cities will lie in ruins. Then at last, the land will enjoy its neglected Sabbath years as it lies desolate while you are in exile in the land of your enemies. Then, the land will finally rest and enjoy the Sabbath it, it missed. As long as the land lies in ruins, it will enjoy the rest it will enjoy the rest you never allowed it to take every seventh year while you lived in it. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> And for those of you who survive, I will demoralize you in <clears throat> in the land of your enemies. You will live in, in such fear that the sound of a leaf driven by the wind will send you fleeing. You will run as though fleeing from a sword, and you will fall even when no one pursues you. Though no one is chasing you, you will stumble over each other as though fleeing from a sword. You will have no power to stand up against your enemies. You will die among the foreign nations and be devoured in the land of your enemies. <clears throat> Those of you who survive will waste away in your enemy's land because of their sins and the sins of their ancestors. But at last, my people will confess their sins and the sins of their ancestors for betraying me and being hostile toward me. Would I have turned their hostility back on them and brought them to the land of their enemies, then at last their stubborn hearts will be humbled and they will pay for their sins. Then I will remember my covenant with Jacob and my covenant with Isaac and my co covenant with Abraham, and I will remember the land, for the land must be abandoned to enjoy its years of Sabbath rest as it lies deserted. At last the people will pay for their sins, for they have continually rejected my regulations and despised my decrees. But despite all this, I will not utterly reject or despise them when they are in exile in the land of their enemies. I will not cancel my covenant with them by wiping them out, for I am the Lord their God. For their sakes, I will remember my ancient covenant with their ancestors whom I brought out of the land of Egypt in sight of all the other of, in sight of all the nations that I might be their God. I am the Lord. These are the decrees, regulations, and instructions that the Lord gave through Moses on Mount Sinai as evidence of the relationship between himself and the Israelites. So to, did anyone notice there that uh, Yahweh is a particularly unpleasant individual? Again, what do we really expect from a raging volcano god? We will be back with Leviticus chapter 27, the final chapter of Leviticus. Peace.